what's going on everybody welcome back to maypole we are back in here i got all the bales and stuff picked up from last episode uh finished bailing everything up and got that going for some silage so now what we need to get into is seeding some fields because we need to get some straw uh we're working our way towards um tmr so yeah we need to get some straw and I will cut another grass field at some point to get some more hay going. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab our cedar. And let's head on down to the store so we can actually, what do we have? That's all lime, so let's actually just drive this on down to the store. Um, we may actually do store delivery to get some seed and stuff down here. That way I could just go ahead and get it going, because I, actually I should have done this before starting the recording, but it's, it's okay. That's alright. We'll be okay. So, what I want to do is go ahead and, uh, let's bring it back a little bit further. Let's go ahead and set the store delivery right there. Let's go to here and get some big bags of seed. So actually, how much seed can our cedar hold? 5,500, but that's probably with uh, fertilizer as well. So we'll just, we'll go ahead and buy five bags. And then let's go fertilizer. And let's buy four of those for now. Alright, so we will reset our store, and it does charge us for the delivery costs as well, so. Alright, uh, let's go ahead. No, 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 no. I don't want to unfold it. Get the cover open, and get backed up to the seed and fertilizer. There we go. And let's go ahead and get filled up. So how's everybody doing out there? Hopefully you're doing wonderful. I am doing fantastic. Things are going really well on the channel. Appreciate all of the uh, support that has been coming in. And uh, welcome to all the new people that have just joined recently. We had a little spike in subscribers, so that's awesome. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all of the series that we have going. I got a, a, a Middleburg. I, I'm recording some stuff on that. Uh, so we can get that roleplay going again. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to take a little while to get done. Because there's, there's a lot of... Um, there, there's a lot of... Editing... And stuff that goes that's that's going to be going into that ep, uh, that series. Uh, it's going to be hopefully it will turn out much like a TV series, uh, and then we'll wrap up possibly somewhere around ten episodes on that, and then start a new season on a, another map. Not sure exactly which map that's going to be. Uh, I have not wrote out the final episode just yet. So. Alright, let's get that turned on. Go ahead and drop this down. This is a small field, so it shouldn't take very long at all. we got a tree right there we got to look out for. Let's go ahead and lift that up. This is a small field, so figured I'd go ahead and start with this one. Get it knocked out. So I drop that down and get rolling here. Getting these headland passes done first can be a little bit of a pain because it's right up against the edges in this on this map and most of these plus you got all these trees and everything we'll come back and touch up that nope it got it so we're not going to worry about that all 
I wish I had a uh, small, little bit smaller tractor to run this cedar, but it takes like 200 some odd horsepower to run this cedar good. So, yeah, we just kind of stuck using this big fent, and I was looking to trade this out for a class uh, because the turning radius on these on this fent is just not very good at all. Um, I mean, it's it's decent, but just not for this map. Like, I, I wouldn't mind using this tractor on a on a more open map. Uh, just for this particular one, because it is very very tight quarters, makes it a little bit harder to uh, handle. All right, so we're just gonna leave it down and loop around like so. I'll touch up that little corner there here in just a second. Not sure exactly uh, what I have planned for this episode. It's just uh, one of those things that I'm just going to kind of wing it. Um... This is another another last minute recording. <laughs> yeah, I should I should have recorded this yesterday actually, but I was just I was exhausted from working all weekend and yeah, I just I just did not have the energy to put into making a video. All right, see if we can get up here to hit this little spot. There we go. Two more passes and we should be good. Might have to come back and touch up a little bitty spot, maybe. Nope. Looks like we're going to be good. Go oh, get spun around here. Can't see anything in the trees. There we go. And we are putting fertilizer down too, so we don't have to worry about going back over it with fertilizer. This is a playthrough without precision farming because I am using it on quite a few other maps. Uh, so I just figured I would not do precision farming on this one. I do play with precision farming on just about every map that I do, but uh, sometimes it's nice to just not have to worry about it. And uh, so, let's see, yeah, we're throwing down wheat, if I did not say that earlier. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go to field uh, 85, which is going to be right over here. We'll come in through this gate. Alright, let's drop down into first person so I can see. Let's get down into the field. And then we'll close up the gate so it's not in the way as we're going around. Uh, yep, there we go. Now, now it's closed. All right, so if we just back up to the gate there and then we'll come down. And then just back it up so we can get this edge right here. Probably would have been a good idea to get like a smaller cedar uh, to get these little areas like this but I think I think we'll be okay we're, we're all right let's go ahead and turn it on and drop it down and then I'll probably do a couple of passes on this side because we got that stone wall down there that's in the way so we'll just back up
There we go. There we go. I was trying to make it a little bit straighter, but this should be okay. And then we'll uh, we'll come back for the uh, edge down here. We'll do we'll do a proper headland pass around the bottom side there. This is just to get this section right here up by the gate, so it's done and out of the way. Uh, let's turn it that way, and then that way. There we go. That should line us up pretty good with the uh, edge of the grass there. Alright, so we'll come down to the wall, and then just pick it up. And back it up here. Then we'll uh, back into that right there. So hopefully you guys are enjoying what I've done there on Western Wilds. It was a little bit different than what I normally do. Oh goodness. Let me pay attention to how I'm backing this thing up. Um... It was a little bit different than what I typically do on Western Wilds, and it kind of changed the plans a little bit there with uh, bringing in a, you know, quote-unquote town or, you know, city or whatever to uh, put roads and buildings and whatnot in. Back up just a little bit so I can get all the way down to the edge here. All right, there we go. Then we'll just do another pass back the other direction. Uh, actually, we'll just we'll loop all the way around the field. Uh, yeah, so the plans are still going to be the same as far as the survival aspect of Western Wilds. But uh, I just decided to go ahead and start the production of the town areas. Because, it, I mean, honestly, if, if I was to do it with my own money, it, it would just take absolutely forever. Uh, especially when we're doing the the survival stuff because, you know, when I harvest the rest of those trees, the money that I get from that is going to have to go towards a new harvester. Uh, it's going to have to go towards a bigger tractor. You know, stuff like that. And uh, it's just, it's just going to be a while before I'm going to be able to actually use my own money to put buildings and stuff down. So, hopefully you guys are cool with that. Uh, it'll still be, uh, hopefully an enjoyable series. Uh, there will still be a lot of, uh, survival going on, so. Uh, not sure exactly how much longer that series is gonna go. Uh, I think... I mean, to be honest, it, it could just keep going and going and going and, until you guys just don't want to see it anymore. Um, I do kind of base, you know, whether or not I continue a series... Uh, off of the views and likes that a video gets if it's below if it's starting to drop below average then uh, you know I'll try some changes and uh, you know see what see what happens there but uh, if it drops you know obviously way too low then it uh, just it wouldn't be wouldn't be possible for me to keep it going on the channel. Maybe even just take a break from it for a little while and then come back to it. But uh, not saying that's what I'm going to do right now. Don't worry. Western Wilds is not going anywhere right now. Uh, it's still doing fairly well on the views and the likes and, and comments and everything. But, uh... Yeah, let's get spun around here. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just make a... Actually... Let's go ahead and do a little bit of a time lapse of uh, getting the rest of these fields seated and I'll bring you guys back in whenever it's done.
All right, we just finished up the last field over here, 68. So we got 85. Uh, let's see. Actually, I don't think I think we're missing one field. Let's take a look here. So yes, we got 84, 85, 66, and 68 all planted with wheat. Uh, we're gonna use uh, quite a bit of that wheat for our chickens uh, down here. And then uh, the grass fields, we will use those for our cows. Now, we also have a sheep barn over here that we could uh, use some grass for. So, if I remember correctly, sheep only take grass. Um, let's, uh, where's, where's animals? Here we go. Types. Uh, grass and hay. So that'll work out just fine. We could probably go ahead and buy some some uh, sheep and uh, get some of those going. Now, uh, I, I do need to go ahead and get some food put in there for them. So I may end up doing that this episode real quick while we're at it. So let's get this cedar up here and get it parked. I'm not going to worry too much about washing it off right now. We'll just, uh, we'll get it parked up in its spot. So, let's see. If I go this way... Yeah, see, this vent is very, very hard to turn. Alright, we should be clear. And then we'll go this way. Tight quarters, tight quarters, but we got it. So I'll go ahead and back this into its spot here under the shed. It has been raining the entire time I've been seeding, so that is awesome. So I'll have to move the bags of seed and fertilizer out of the way that we have up there in the front. Uh, not sure where I'll put those just yet, but we'll figure something out. Alright, so... Go ahead and park this. Let's go over here to the sheep barn real quick and see what we can get as far as some sheep. So we can get 500 sheep and so 60 at a time. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get... Okay, so what, what's the difference between this one and this one? There's nothing really any difference. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and get... So we got two, four... That'd be eighty. Eighty sheep. Actually, let's go... Fifteen. Fifteen of those. 15 of those, and 15 of those. There we go. That'll give us uh, 60 sheep to start with. Very nice. Give us a little bit of a color variation. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick is go up to the store and buy some feed for these uh, sheep real quick because we don't have any grass available. Everything has been turned into hay and dropped into the cow barn here and the rest of it was wrapped up in bales for uh, silage so we could do the TMR. So let me go down to the store real quick, get some food, get these guys fed and I'll bring you guys back in real quick here in just a minute. Alright, we got the uh, sheep all fed. I just got a bunch of hay bales and uh, filled it up so we should be good to go. For a little while. It's not completely full. It's just barely under full. But I didn't see the point in going back up. Getting more bales and all of that. So yeah. That's what we're doing there. Don't need to worry about the water. That's all taken care of. And uh, this field is. Going to be one of the wheat fields. So that'll be interesting to see sheep roaming around in wheat fields. Um. <laughs> I did not think about that, but that's okay. We could do wheat on this field and then possibly buy 
Oh, I don't know, 87 or 38 or... Maybe 87. Uh, how much is... That field? So if we go into farmlands, we own all of this. So... That's 59,000. And it's right here by the farm. So... We could pick up this one. And do wheat over there, and then we'll turn 85 back into a, um, back into a grass field or something. Uh, that way it just, it just looks right, you know, because we're going to need quite a bit of grass to handle all the cows that we're going to have, all the, the sheep, and all of that. So if we go back to map overview, we also have horses over here. Now horses, I, I, I have the horseman mod installed. So I wouldn't have to really do anything but feed them. Um, so we could do horses at some point. And I don't believe we have any pigs. Uh, yeah, so no pigs on this barn, or on this uh, farm. And I don't think there's... There probably is one somewhere. Maybe over here. That looks like a pigsty right there. So maybe there is one right there. Uh, but, uh, I, I don't want to get into pigs or horses right now, so we'll just do cows, sheep, and chicken. And, uh, start getting some wool. Hello. Don't backtalk me. Anyways. Alright, so... <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Alright, well, I think that is actually going to do it for this episode. Uh... Looking at the time that I have, should be roughly about a 30 minute video, so I don't want to go too much longer with this one. Uh, we got a, quite a bit done. We got the rest of the grass picked up, uh, which you guys didn't see in this episode. Got it put into bales for the silage and all of that. We got the sheep and got some uh, food in there for the sheep. And then we also got the fields, uh, the other fields harvested, or not harvested, but uh, planted, seeded with some wheat. And then uh, next episode, we'll uh, come back in and probably go ahead and double check. I'm going to let time roll for a little bit. Maybe fast forward a month or two. And uh, top off all the food for the animals and check on our silage and see what we can do as far as get some TMR mixer uh, stuff going. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Feel free to comment down below with any tips, tricks, and suggestions. And uh... Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I don't know what I was about to say there. Really messed that up. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one.